Hi, I'm Christy Simpson, and I'm so excited to be here with you on the final day of our knit along. We will be using yarn from loveknitting.com. It's called Paint Box Yarn. It's exclusive to loveknitting.com, and it is a cotton DK, a lightweight three in dolphin blue. You will also need your US 6 knitting needles, which is a four millimeter. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to finish up. You can also stay organized by using a fun yarn pop bag. They have all sorts of sizes and colors and shapes and ones with different grommets. Some have one, some have two, and this one has three. This is called the Totable, and it's actually a really great size. If you carry a lot of yarn with you, this is the perfect one for you. It actually has um, a pocket in it, and it will hold four to six good medium skein size skeins. So all you do is just take the yarn and feed it through the grommet and then you just close your bag and you're good to go on any car ride trip or anything like that. So get your yarn, get organized, and let's get started with our final day. For our final block, we are using paint box yarn and cotton DK. This one is the Dolphin Blue in color 437. I have already done the first two rows and knit, and now we're getting ready to do row three. Okay. Row three is knit four. So one, two, three, four, and then increase one to three. In this one stitch here, we're going to knit, pull your yarn to the front, and let's purl, and then take it to the back and knit again, and pull that off. Okay, and then you'll purl three together. We've done two before, but three isn't hard. Have your yarn at the front, insert your needle in front of the, th in, in the three stitches there, yarn over, pull through and off. So that's what that should look like right there. Okay, and that's what we will do all the way across. Increase one to three, So knit, pull it to the front, purl, take it to the back, and then knit. We're working in the same loop here. And then purl three together. Again, knit, purl, and then knit, purl three together. Knit, purl, and take that to the back, and knit. Purl three together. Knit, purl, and then knit. Purl three together. One, two, and three, and you should have four left over at this point and knit them. One, two, three, four. Now I will tell you, um, I like the stitch this way, okay? It looks like lace after we do a couple more rows and on the back, you'll end up with like this little bobble looking thing, this little cute raised part. If you would like to have the raised part on the front instead of the back, just knit one more row and then start with row three, okay? So just keep that in mind. For row four, we will knit four, purl to the last four stitches, and then knit the last four. So let's do that really fast. One, two, three, four, and let's purl, okay?
Now this pearl should be really easy by now since this is the last day. Okay, we're almost there. Uh-oh, work through the correct stitch. That'd be a good idea. Okay, one, two, three, four, we have one more. Now knit the last four. One, two, three, four. Now you can kind of see the little, little raised areas there. Let's go ahead and turn it. And let me show you how it's going to look as it progresses. Now the front side, I'm actually going to move this out of the way and show you again. Here. The front side is going to be smooth unless you add one more row of knit, okay? That extra row of knit will make this the front side if you decide to do that. And see how it has these little knobs or bobbles or raised spots, whatever you want to call them, right there. I have this as the back side because I personally, I like where it looks a little bit lacier like that. My husband, on the other hand, he likes the back side. So it's personal preference. And so there may or may not be a right or wrong side. So this is what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and move on to row five. And you'll find that it's very similar to row three. Okay, to begin, we will knit four. One, two, three, four. Now, instead of increasing the one to three here, we're going to start with the purl three together. And this will help stagger the design. So that, that's all that's different with this one. So now I'll take and purl, I'm sorry, purl, ah, Increase one to three. I keep looking at the wrong word. So knit, bring the yarn to the front, purl, take the yarn to the back, and knit. Purl three together. Increase one to three, knit, purl, knit. All in that same stitch there. Purl three together. Knit. Here, let me start that one again just to make sure I've got it right. Knit, purl, knit, purl three together. There we go. Knit, pull this yarn to the front, purl, then take it behind the needle again and knit and then pull it off. Purl three together. Now let's see how many we have left here. We have five, so this is our last increase, one to three. Knit. Purl, knit. Okay, now knit the last four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Pull these down correctly. Okay, to complete this section, all you have to do is row six, which is knit four, purl to the last four, and knit four, four again, which is the same as row four. To complete the section, you'll repeat rows three through six. So, You'll repeat it 7 through 10, 11 through 14, and so on, all the way down to row 40, which is in, ends on row 4. Then you will knit two rows and then bind off. Let me go ahead and purl this next row, and then I'll show you how to do a quick bind off, just so you know how to finish up your scarf. Really, really easy. So we'll just go ahead you know what, instead of a purl, let's go ahead and knit these. I'm just going to do these really quick. 
Let's pretend like it's the last row. So knit, knit, knit. Last two rows are knit. Okay, just a few more to go here. Now, as far as your ends go, weave them in as your um, pattern progresses, and then you will not have to worry about it at the end. So now that we have knitted this, let's bind off together. To begin your bind off, you will knit one, and knit two. Now do these loosely. Take your first knit and pull it and drop it off your hook over the second one. Okay, let's try that again. Over, it's hard to do it slowly. Over, like that. Plus I'm using needles, so I'm not used to. Here we go. See how I just pulled that tight? Don't pull it tight. If you pull it tight, you're going to take your edge and it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be really tight and short. We don't wanna do that. So whenever you finish with your, whenever you drop it off, knit the next one and do the same thing. Take it and drop it off your needle. Pull it over that. Then you take and raise it up just a little bit. That way it's already loose. So knit one, there's two on your needle. Take and pull it over. And I'm gonna have to hold that one. And drop it off. <laughs> I'm not used to these needles, isn't that funny? Okay, there we go. See how that is? And we're just taking and decreasing it by one. So take and drop it off. And pull it up just a little bit. And you will continue doing that all the way, there we go, to the, drop it off. See how I'm doing that? And then you lift it up just a little bit to keep it loose. If you pull it tight, it will not be stretchy. It will be very tight. Okay, just drop it off edge, and then pull it up. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Whenever you get to the end, just cut it and pull it through that last loop, and then you have completed your scarf. Thank you for joining me for this amazing knit along. I hope that you have enjoyed learning the Trinity stitch as well as the cable and the ridge and a lace and a slip stitch. We have had so much fun learning every single day for the past five days. Now to finish your scarf, finish day five and make sure you end with your two knit rows. Now, if you want to make your scarf longer, you can repeat the pattern from every single day and have one long scarf. Or you can take your yarn needle and sew the ends together to have a beautiful infinity scarf that just, is, um, just wraps around. Make sure you take the time to block your scarf so that it is nice and even. I would also like to thank loveknitting.com for their beautiful selections of yarns in the paint box line. I would also like to thank Yarn Pop for their amazing organizing bags. So check those out and thank you again for joining me for this I Love Yarn Day knit along. Thank you.